Introduction Yummy! This food tastes so good! Do you know what happens to the food when it goes inside your body? No, but I want to know. Yes, sure. A body has a huge network of various glands and organs which absorbs the essential nutrients from the food and discards the unimportant part. This seems to be very interesting. Are you interested to know more about this digestion mechanism? Yes. Students, today we will start a lesson Nutrition in Animals where you will come to know how our body digests the food we eat. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Define digestive system Tell the parts of the alimentary canal Learn about how the digestion happens in different parts of alimentary canal Explain digestion in grass-eating animals Discuss feeding and digestion in amoeba. We all know food is made up of complex substances like carbohydrates, fats and proteins. We can utilize these substances as such so they are broken down into simpler substances. The breakdown of complex components of food into simpler substances is called digestion. Let us study digestion in human beings. You will be wondered to know that the food inside our body passes through an alimentary canal or simply digestive tract. It consists of buccal cavity, food pipe or esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine and the anus. Now let us know what happens to the food in the different parts of the digestive tract. Breaking down of food occurs by two ways. Mechanical digestion and chemical digestion. Mechanical digestion is the physical breaking down of food when we chew the food with the teeth. Chemical digestion is the chemical breakdown of food into the molecules body can absorb. Both types of digestion take place in mouth. Mechanical digestion breaks food into smaller pieces and saliva in our mouth produced by salivary glands causes the breakdown of starches into sugars. This process of taking food into the body is called ingestion. When the food we eat becomes soft mass, our tongue pushes it to the food pipe or esophagus. The esophagus is a long tube that runs from the neck to the chest. The movements of its walls force the food to the stomach. The stomach is the widest part of the alimentary canal. It is a thick walled bag with a flattened U shape. Inside the stomach, food is churned and mixed with digestive juices including hydrochloride acid. These chemicals break down the proteins into simpler substances. A lining of mucus protects our stomach from acids. After about 4 hours in the stomach, food changes to shine and moves into the small intestine. The small intestine is the longest part of our digestive system. It is about 7.5 meters long and highly coiled in structure. It is the part where most of the nutrients of the food are absorbed. Liver and the pancreas also join the digestion. Liver secretes bile juice stored in a gallbladder and helps in the digestion of fats, whereas pancreatic juice break down proteins and carbohydrates. After that, partly digested food reaches the small intestine and intestinal juice break down carbohydrates into simple sugars such as glucose, fats into fatty acids and glycerol, and proteins into amino acids 
and completes the digestion of the food. Now the digested food passes into the bloodstream. We call this process absorption. Well, there are tiny fingers like things called villi lining the inside of small intestine. Do you know the interesting part of villi? It increases the surface area of the absorption of digestive food. Then the absorbed substances are transported via the blood vessels to different organs of the body where they are used to build complex substances such as proteins. This is called assimilation. When chyme gets into the large intestine, it absorbs most of the water and some salts out of the undigested food. This step is important because recovering water keep us safe from getting dehydrated. Once most of the water is gone, solid waste moves to the last part of the large intestine called the rectum and the fecal matter is removed through the anus. This is called ejection. So, this way the human digestion completes. Have you observed a cow chewing continuously even when it is not eating? What happens is, it quickly swallows the grass and store it in a rumen. Here the food gets partially digested and is called cud. But later, the cud returns to the mouth in small lumps and the animal chews it. So this process is called rumination and these kinds of animals are called ruminants. You will be surprised to know that there are certain organisms which do not have mouth and a digestive system, yet they digest food. This organism is amoeba, which is found in ponds. It is single-celled and you cannot see it with the naked eye. It has a cell membrane, a rounded nucleus and vacuoles in its cytoplasm. It changes its shape and position constantly by pushing out finger-like projections called pseudopodia or false feet and captures some microscopic organisms as its food. The food becomes trapped in a food vacuole and the digestive juices act on the food to break it down into simpler substances. Finally, the undigested food is expelled outside by the vacuole. By this you can say all the animals have same basic process of digestion. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. The breakdown of complex components of food into simpler substances is called digestion. Elementary canal consists of buccal cavity, food pipe or esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine and the anus. Digestion of carbohydrates like starch begins in the buccal cavity. The digestion of protein starts in the stomach. The bile secreted from the liver, the pancreatic juice from the pancreas, and the digestive juice from the intestinal wall complete the digestion of all components of food in the small intestine. The absorbed substances are transported to different parts of the body. Water and some salts are absorbed from the undigested food in the large intestine. The undigested food is expelled out of the body as feces through the anus. The grazing animals like cows, buffaloes and deer are known as ruminants. They quickly ingest, swallow their leafy food and store it in the rumen. Later the food returns to the mouth in small lumps and the animal chews it. Amoeba ingests its food with the help of its false feet or pseudopodia and the food is digested in the food vacuole.